A gunman opened fire on the crowd at a huge country music festival in Las Vegas four months ago. The shooter killed 58 people and injured more than 800, including 23-year-old Sanger native Jessica Milam. She's now talking about the experience publicly for the first time with Action News anchor Corin Hawk. Country music, fun, and chicken nuggets put a smile on Jessica Milam's face as she and her Disneyland co-worker Destiny Albers watched Jason Aldean and planned the drive back to LA with no idea the dangerous path they'd need to follow to find happiness again. Was there like a moment that you realized like, oh, this is taking a bad turn? Or? The second round of shots, I knew exactly what was happening. And then as soon as Jason Aldean ran off stage, I was like, we're all done for. Chaos enveloped the concert grounds as more than 1,100 rounds rained down on the Route 91 Harvest Music Festival. Holy and Jessica and Destiny desperately tried to get out. I remember being low, getting hit, telling Destiny I've been shot. And then it was just blank from there. Jessica was 11 days into a 35-day hospital stay by the time her memory kicked in again. What she can't remember well is Destiny dragging her to safety bit by bit as each new barrage of bullets went silent, or the random guy who pulled up in a pickup truck and got her to the hospital. She doesn't remember the doctors finding bullet fragments in her liver or her condition getting worse before they realized she had more in her lungs. The shooting left its physical scars and emotional marks, too. Fireworks and police sirens send her right back to October 1st. But the smile is back. And for her first interview since the shooting, both she and Destiny wore Route 91 shirts with pride. I really like y'all shirts, though. I have to, like, I have to show up. We didn't even coordinate this. See, this is how in sync we are. They've both vowed to deny the shooter any power over them. They'll go back to Route 91 if it's held again this year, and they're going to another country music show together this month. The upcoming Miranda Lambert concert, yeah. it'll be exciting. It's a little nerve-wracking, but it'll be a good feeling to finally walk out of there again yeah. with her. And in her worst moments, Jessica realized just how much her hometown means to her, even though she always wanted to move to a big city. And then something like this happens and you're unbelievably grateful to be from a small town. It's one of those things where the support that a town like Sanger can bring to you is unbelievable. Coming up on Action News at 6, a reunion of sorts with a Marine veteran who may have saved Jessica's life. Yes. Corin Hoggard, ABC 30, Action out, News. Yes. I remember being low, getting hit, telling Destiny I've been shot. And then it was just blank from there. Those are the words of a Sanger woman who was in Las Vegas for that stunning attack at a country music concert back in October and lived to tell about it. Tonight, Jessica Milam opens up for the first time about the shooting that nearly cost her her life. Jessica is talking publicly for the first time about being one of the 851 people injured during the mass shooting in Las Vegas. At four, we heard about the moment the 23-year-old got hit, and now Action News anchor Corin Hoggard shares an emotional reunion with the two heroes who joined forces to save her life. I took a walk with a miracle and her hero on a Southern California night four months after the night, connecting them forever. Jessica Milam and Destiny Albers are Disneyland co-workers who initially bonded over country music. And when they're together, it seems a strange chemical reaction yields wackiness and warmth. I don't know what this is. We've never done this before. <laughs> they took this act on the road to Las Vegas last year, but their lively weekend ended in terror when a gunman opened fire on the Route 91 Harvest Festival, killing 58 and injuring 851 other people, including Jessica. There was one point where I thought, this is how I die. I didn't think I was making it out. When a bullet hit Jessica that night, Destiny pledged to get her out, and she did little by little, dragging her friend off the concert grounds. And it's one of those things where I couldn't have asked for a better person to be there with, so. I love you. I love you. 
Jessica's here tonight because of destiny, but the rescue required a second angel. He pulled up, brakes screeching. <laughs> hey, we're going to the hospital. If you need anybody going to the hospital, load them in. Taylor Winston commandeered a pickup truck and drove dozens of people to the hospital, including Jessica and Destiny. He joined our interview via FaceTime. I've waited this moment for four months and I can't even put it into words. Um, how grateful I am for you and for your quick thinking and saving our lives and so many others. I am to you. Like Destiny, the Marine veteran shies away from the hero label, but he's still reaching out to victims of the deadliest mass shooting in U.S. history. We're still trying to help everyone, so it's nowhere near over. I know you guys probably struggle on the daily. Taylor now runs a weekly support group led by a trauma therapist who also survived the shooting, and he invited Jessica and Destiny to join their healing process. Nobody really understands what we went through other than the other survivors and each other. It's still incredibly hard. Um, that night was absolute hell. The gunshots of October 1st still haunt Jessica, making fireworks and police sirens tough to tolerate. She spent 35 days in the hospital, some of them touch and go, with her parents and her boyfriend by her side the whole time. Her Disney family rallied around her, even sending Mickey and Minnie Mouse for a bedside visit. The Central Valley sent its support too. Those reinforcements helped her mentally and physically, but don't let the smiles fool you. She's still fighting her way back. I think a lot of people look at me and they, because I look like myself, I look like I did before it happened, they think, oh, she's fine, she's back to herself, which is not true. I'm only about 50%, but I'm going to keep fighting because it's my only option. She won't fight alone. Lauren Hawker, ABC 30 Action News. There was one point where I thought, this is how I die. I didn't think I was making it out. Four months ago, 58 people died in the deadliest mass shooting in U.S. history, and Sanger native Jessica Milam was one of the 851 people injured. Concert goers in the Route 91 Music Festival ran in panic and confusion as they tried to escape a wave of terror. For the first time, the 23-year-old is opening up about the shooting and a tribute to the victims with Action News anchor Corn Hoggard. The weekend of the Route 91 Harvest Music Festival delivered a lot of happy memories for Jessica Milam, but the night of October 1st ended in a nightmare when a gunman fired off more than 1,100 rounds into the concert crowd. One of them hit Jessica in the abdomen, and she needed help to survive. Her friend Destiny Albers dragged her out of the venue, and a stranger in a pickup truck got her to the hospital. I vaguely remember being dragged out. I remember the truck. I remember the hospital waiting room, and then next thing I know, it's October 12th, and I'm in ICU. Her memory resumed 11 days into a 35-day hospital stay, and a few days after, doctors worried they might still lose her. Her parents and boyfriend stayed by her side. The Valley rallied around her with Team Jessica fundraisers and well wishes, and despite bullet fragments in her liver and lungs, she battled her way back. Seeing her for the first first time coming back, not just a sigh of relief, but so much love. <laughs> Has it changed you in any way? I'm more grateful now, but I'm still essentially the same person as I've always been. <laughs> Physical and Physical. mental scars remain, but Jessica has proved herself to be a great fighter, and she and Destiny refuse to let the shooter have any power over them. They'll attend a Miranda Lambert concert this weekend, facing their fears with a little added caution. So now whenever I'm in a crowd like that, it's one of those things, you look around, you check exits. That feeling of on edge will never fully go away. 
They're also planning to see Jason Aldean in late September, almost a year to the day from when the gunshots chased him off the stage in Las Vegas. The memory of that moment, when they knew the noise they heard was gunfire and chaos erupted all around them, won't fade easily. Jessica visited a memorial to the victims before leaving Vegas, and she hopes to go back. Destiny is now building a memorial of her own for the permanent healing garden. The 58 is going to be one of those things where they're always with us. We will never forget them. Corin Hoggard, ABC 30, Action News. Happy. Our extensive reporting on Jessica Milam's survival story will be available on our website, including the reunion with both of her angels and what the shooting taught Jessica about her hometown of Sanger. Just check ABC30.com.